is Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode four of Delicious Party. Pretty curious, it's gonna get started in three, two, one, go. It's time. I'm so excited. I had to make sure that I did not see anything these last few hours on Twitter, so thank God I haven't seen anything yet. Pom's best fairy. Can't stop thinking about her, huh? Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm just ready to see this transformation. Like I said, I also have been avoiding spoilers these last couple of hours so that I could literally not get spoiled on that transformation because I want, you know, first initial reactions on that. I know it's going to be pretty and blue and gorgeous. I, 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 I'm just, I'm ready to see her transform into Kiris because she's going to look so pretty. Like, oh. And then we also still hope that Pom Pom can turn into a, like, a fairy human hybrid as well, please, and thank you. So, you know, it's up to you. And there she is, coming in like a damn princess. Uh-oh. No, but in a way, she does want to be friends with you guys. <laughs> I 
I know, because you look so fucking cute. <laughs> Baby. Hmm. She's literally not going to be able to talk to her. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh damn you <laughs> Oh Want some help? No. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, I could resist. <laughs> Okay, can I just say that, like, Pamu is literally my dog, <laughs> Cody, when he first 
just fall in love with me. Even though I hound him for two weeks because I was like, no, I miss Yen and Kiana and I want dogs around me. <laughs> but like, yeah, Cody is like hella attached to me now. Because he's my baby. Because my mom was like, DJ, can I see the dog? Yeah, here's the dog. Okay, bye! <laughs> Damn! I'm just really excited to see who these girls are going to be paired with. Like, a, a lot of people are really kind of speculating it's the Kira Kira Pretty Girl Alamo girls, which wouldn't, I would not be mad about that. I would love it because, of course, food, sweets makes the most sense. But who knows, really? We ain't going to know until October, and that is a long time away from now. <laughs> I'm also really Huey. Always hungry. And my child comes in and just screws the up. <laughs> Darkness coming in like, you know what? Let's add some kind of Suba up in here. <laughs> Not only that, let's add some simple gear up in here. <laughs> Oh, I like how they did that.
<laughs> well, Oh, I thought it would be blue. I still think it is a crazy name. Different. All three of the names are weird. Just interesting. Still a little weird, but interesting. But it's okay. I love it. It's different. We're trying out new things. Because I know we were all wondering, like, these names. What are these names? But yeah, I love them. They're different. Excuse me.
So we got a triangle and a circle. Is yum yum going to be a square? I mean, that would make the most sense, you know, but we ain't going to know until she officially makes her appearance. She's so cute. <laughs> hey, Precious is freaking peckering of this show because she is always hungry. That smile. That smile broke the internet. Fizzy soda day. That's cute. She's so cute. That's all I have to say. She's cute and I love her. She is best girl for now until the final one comes in. You know, I mean, because I already knew she was going to be my favorite. Because at first, I honestly thought we were going for, um... Yum yum because of her say you. I mean, cause the, cause the funny thing is, going into the say you route, the ones that I know from other things are pre no, not precious, spicy's va, yum yum's va, and, and then you know our our final cure who we can't talk about yet. But once again, it is painfully obvious of who it's gonna be. But you know, like I said, when we get there, we'll get there. Um. Because of the fact is, the funny thing is, and I when I did some research, both Spicy and Yum Yum Seiyus have both been in Attack on Titan. I was like, oh, okay, two different parts, different seasons. You know, you play characters on the sidelines of cool. Um, but yeah, she's a precious baby girl. I love her. Yes, she, like I said last week, she gives me hella um, caught in vibes, especially with the fact that she's a loner and stuff. A little bit of Yukari as well. Um... I'm not mad at that. I do like the fact that we kind of have a blue cure or a second blue cure who was very like to herself. But when it comes to a certain person, she's like, you know, I, I want to be out there and I want to be a social butterfly or something. But I, I mean, I hope that the relationship between Yui and Kokone is really, really good for the both of them. And that by the end of this, you know, she's able to shine. I don't want it to be like, this is what I don't want it to be like, because we're going to, we're going to compare this back to Tropical Rouge, maybe kind of the last few couple of seasons of Pretty Cure in a nutshell. So looking at Tropical Rouge, Hugato, and Star Twinkle, no, Tropical Rouge, to Tropical Rouge healing good, that's what I meant, not Hugato, um, Star Twinkle. Hell, we can put Hagato in there. So Tropical Rouge, Healing Good, Star Twinkle, and Hagato. Those last series, each one was like when we had the initial three. Or how many of our girls that we got? Three, four, five, whatever. We got episodes that was equally focused on each of the girls. Now, when the final either one or two cures came in, so like for Hagato, it was the final two for Star Twinkle, it was just the one. For freaking Healing Good, it was the one. And then for Tropical Rouge, of course, it was just one. That was when it was kind of hard to give every single girl the initiative of, okay, we're doing character development in every single episode, but sometimes this character or this character won't get enough screen time development before the show ends. That's why a lot of people, especially when you, like, as much as I love the Tropical Rouge girls, like, if you've seen my Twitter and how much I love them to death, um, 
not mainly because you know say you and then other things um just like with the rest of the girls of the pretty cure series i i still even officially now four weeks later still feel a certain type of way and so i i don't know when i'm gonna watch the movie the goal is to because officially came out on friday the goal is to try to watch it next friday because like i said i don't have work that day um and to see them interact with the heart catch girls and then you know to see everything because of course i miss my tropical root girls so freaking much and it, it just it still feels weird four weeks in and it still feels fucking weird to me that like those girls are gone and that we are not going to see them until the next three groups movie together and then who knows when officially when the next group who gets paired with the tropical rouge girls and such but with, with coconut i think she's adorable she's like i said she best girl she freaking best girl and i i love pom pom because pom pom automatically reminds me of laura so especially with last week and how she was just like flipping her her um her ear and i was just like yep this is laura puppy fairy version and i'm already loving her i mean i'm ready to see like truly with this show like we all know how memed uh tropical rouge came by the end of the show and especially because of laura and her facial expressions because that was literally the best thing about the show with her facial expressions i feel like we're going to get that but i feel it's going to be more of mary because mary has made like really funny facial expressions that I'm like I can't if it's not Mary it's probably going to either be Yui because <laughs> Yui's faces if it's not Yui it has to be Ron slash Carrie Yum Yum because episode one that ish made me laugh for like 30 minutes straight after I was done I was like bro she might like break the freaking internet of pretty care community ish and be like look at this girl reactions because like baby is precious as fuck too but honestly i cannot wait to see her because of course we gotta wait at least one more week until our final cure for now officially makes her appearance so of course aka episode six which like i said when it was just gooey slash precious i love the fact that we got and several episodes focusing on her and getting a little more development on her. Now we're getting an action episode with Kokone before Ron comes in and finally makes her appearances. Yum yum. That's good character development. Sometimes you need to do that instead of initially bringing out here's Cure 1, here's Cure 2, here's Cure 3. Let them get like a relationship and a teamwork going. Oh, and then hey, here's Cure 4 to just come in and, you know, basically run over the two cures and be like, hey, this is my show now with, you know, Cure A right here. It's now Cure A and D show, not A, B, C, D show, you know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 4 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. <clears throat> Subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 5. Bye, guys.